As a DJI drone pilot, you might have already seen the headlines in recent months. Countering CCP Drones Act, also known as DJI Ban. US House approves DJI Drone Ban Bill. Or seeking to prohibit sales and operations of DJI drones in the US. Now trying to avoid this, DJI is now taking first countermeasures. No flight rocket sinking for US pilots. And as if this is not already enough, you might have seen the latest headlines. Access to previous flight data will end in October 2024, at least for US pilots. But before you panic, first let's have a look at how syncing to DJI cloud servers works and if you are affected. After your flight, all your logs will be stored to your local device. This could be the DJI RC2 or your smartphone, depending on what you're using for flying. If you decide to sync your flights with DJI, the logs will be sent to the server and stored over there. Since June 2024, this sync is disabled. So if you now do another flight, flight number three, it will only be on your local device, but not stored on the server. And in October 2024, all flights will be not accessible anymore for US pilots, or in other words, deleted. Now you might ask yourself, are you safe? For that, let's have a look at different scenarios. All flights sync before June 2024 are on your local device and the cloud. So here you are definitely safe. All flights between June 2024 and now are only stored locally, but you have them at hand and it should be safe as well. If you switch to a new device between June 2024 and now, there are basically two scenarios. Flights with a new device are locally stored, so you have them at hand. Let's call this safe. Flights done before switching the device. Those are not synced. So what you should do now is, if you have your old device still accessible, download them from the old device. Or as uh, explained in an article from Drone DJI, you can download them from the DJI cloud. I'll leave the link in the description below for that. So what should be your next steps? First, you should download your flight logs locally to computer and save them. But only saving them may be not very useful. So my advice will be sync your flights with a third party provider, for example, AirData. AirData will give you much more information than DJI. So as a wrap up for today, I give you a short introduction into AirData and how to upload your existing flight logs. If you're already syncing your flights to DJI, you may recognize that what you get out of there is not too much information. So this is where AirData comes into play. If you upload your data to AirData, then you get much more information. First of all, the starting page. You see at a glance, uh, how is it going out for flying, your recent flights, but also your batteries, how they're doing, how many charges you have on each battery, how many flights each battery did, and for sure the flights. And this is the most interesting part. Now in the details of your flight log, you first of all get the overview of your flight path. You see some basic information like the airtime, takeoff battery, landing battery, and now you can get much more information if you use, for instance, the notification tab. Here we show the battery percentage during the flight, but very important, all messages which you receive sometimes on the controller are locked here as well, including the timestamp when that happened. Then next part what's interesting is the power. I already mentioned the batteries, so that will calculate the maximum flight time you get in the way you've flown your drone. 
info about the battery cells, how they're doing, everything is in green, so that looks good. Then cell graphs during the flight, how they developed well, it's an ampere. And then the sensors. Sensors will tell you how the signal was, GPS signal reception. During the flight, you have controls. How fast left and right stick will react on your inputs for steering. Then you have the weather. Weather is also very useful, for instance, in the wind map. Uh, you can see the direction of the wind and exactly to each point of time, which is listed over here, the wind speed, the wind direction. So there are lots of information you get over here. But we will now concentrate on the most important part, the first step, how to upload your flight logs. For uploading your flight logs, there are a variety of options depending on the device you use for flying. You find detailed instructions in the help article from AirData. I will leave the link for all mentioned help articles in the description below. The easiest way is, if you're using a smartphone for flying your drone, to install the AirData mobile app. The mobile app will sync with your DJI Fly app and sends the log straight to AirData server. That's it. For manual uploading logs from the DJI RC2 to AirData, there's a dedicated help article describing step by step how this works. The basic steps here are connect your DJI RC2 to your computer, copy your flight logs to your computer, and finally upload them via the manual upload page to AirData. Again, you'll find the link for this help article in the description below. I hope this video was able to demystify the upcoming DJI flight sync restrictions and showing alternatives like AirData, which provides much more insight into your flights with your DJI drone. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video.